Today in this video, I'm going to share with you the three strategies that I use to help my students to get accepted into their dream colleges. So let's go ahead and get started. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified when I release videos twice a month. And also, if you are aiming to get accepted into your dream Ivy League and top tier colleges, I highly recommend that you register for my free live training. The link is down below and you can also go ahead and um, just go to the page directly at www.juliekimconsulting.com forward slash masterclass. And in that masterclass, I'm going to teach you four mistakes that you must avoid if you want to get accepted, and also four strategies that you can use to create a standout factor and ultimately get accepted into your dream college. So I'm really proud to say that my students got their acceptance letters from Stanford, Princeton, UPenn, UC Berkeley, USC, NYU, University of Michigan, Georgia Tech, Rice University, UIUC, um, and Columbia, and like so many more. <laughs> so basically, I help my students get accepted into their dream Ivy League and top tier colleges. And the question that I get so often is, so how did you help them get accepted into their dream colleges, and what were their stats, and all of those other factors that go into the college admission process. So today in this video, I'm going to share with you the three strategies that I use to help my students to get accepted into their dream colleges. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I'm the queen of passion projects and so obviously I help my students uh, strategize and brainstorm and execute their passion projects. And all of my students who got accepted into their dream colleges, they had a passion project in place. And a lot of students tend to make the mistake of just creating any project that they think that might help them stand out and that's where the mistake happens. So with my students and in my programs, I really understand where the student is coming from and their strategies that they've used in the past and try to create a really compelling story around it and a very standout passion project. So there are three types of passion projects that you can work on and I've helped my students work on. Number one is a creative passion project. That's where your website is built, your Instagram, your LinkedIn. So a lot of social media presence is there and their passion project must align with either their academic interest or their personal interest. And how we decide that is I have to first get to know the student so that we can create a best strategy as to what would be the best passion project. Is it going to be an academic one or a personal one? So I've had students where they would create um, online science classes for students. I've also had students where she would bake cupcakes and she would turn that into a website and then she would sell the cupcakes and then with the proceeds she would donate it to one of the medical organizations. I've also had students create social justice related passion projects. So there was a lot of creativity involved and there was a lot of online presence involved. And right now because of COVID, it's even a better time to really have that online presence because colleges do look at that. The second type of passion projects that I help my students land, I should say, is I help my students land research or intern positions at colleges like Stanford, UPenn, Harvard, MIT. And I know when I say this, a lot of students are like, how did you help them land these positions during this time uh, of COVID? And also like they don't have research qualifications or experience. So how did you help them do that? Well, that's my expertise. I help my students land their dream research positions or intern positions using the professor outreach system that I teach my students inside my program. So literally, I have so many testimonials from students saying, Julie, I landed a position, I got this opportunity. And as an example, one of my students, Natalie, she didn't get a research position, but using the system, she was able to sit in a full semester at University of Michigan, and the professor um, got to know her, and she actually put in good words to the University of Michigan admission officers. And I've had a few other students experience this as well. So networking with not only college admission officers, but professors is very, very important. And that's the second type of passion project that can really make a difference in your application and create that instant standout factor. 
The third way that I help my students get accepted into their dream colleges is by helping them get published in newspapers and magazines. So creating a passion product is one thing, but you also want to show colleges that you were able to share your passion project with thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So I help my students how to reach out to newspapers, news stations, magazines so that they can land a publication. Now I've had students where they were in my six month program and in month five they got on the news um, and it was all about their passion project. I've also had students land newspaper articles and features in their local magazines and their local newspapers and even the bigger ones. So that is another way that I help my students get accepted into their dream colleges like Stanford, UPenn, Princeton and many more. All right, I hope that you found that helpful. It's really about creating a standout factor through passion projects and that's how my students get accepted. And if you don't know my story, that's how I got accepted into USC and Harvard. I didn't have the best stats. I didn't have anything fancy. I didn't go to summer programs. I didn't do anything ridiculous where it takes up so much of your time and only brings you stress. I only focused on one or two things that actually moved the needle for me because I was really able to showcase who I was academically and personally. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you want to learn more about how to execute your passion project, make sure to attend my free masterclass. The link will be in the description box below and the hyperlink is also right here at www.juliekimconsulting.com forward slash masterclass. Also, I am very, very active on Instagram, so please join me on Instagram. My handle is at Julie underscore Kim seven. We'll also put in a little graphic here as well. So I'll see you on Instagram and I will also see you inside the free masterclass and have a great, great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.